From the battlefield to the presidency, Captain Ibrahim Torah's vision for Burkina Faso is mind-blowing. Looking at a young, determined soldier rising through the ranks, not just to lead a battalion, but to steer an entire nation toward prosperity. Ibrahim Troura, at just 34 years old, is not only the youngest head of state in the world, but also a leader who has swiftly gained the admiration of many. Ibrahim Troura is already changing Burkina Faso with these seven new mega projects. Number seven, agriculture and rural development projects. Agriculture is the backbone of Burkina Faso's economy, and President Traoré recognizes this. One of his key initiatives is the Agricultural Transformation Program. This ambitious project aims to boost agricultural production, improve food security, and create jobs in the agricultural sector. The program involves providing farmers with access to improved seeds and fertilizers, offering training and technical assistance, and enhancing the marketing of agricultural products. In a country often plagued by droughts, the construction and rehabilitation of irrigation systems and water harvesting infrastructure are crucial. These efforts will help mitigate the impact of droughts and ensure that farming can continue throughout the year. Rural development is also a priority under Torah's leadership. The construction and maintenance of rural roads, the establishment of marketplaces, and the development of storage facilities are all part of his plan to uplift rural areas. These projects will facilitate transportation, reduce post-harvest losses, and connect farmers to markets. International organizations and national institutions have been actively supporting these initiatives by providing funding, technical assistance, and knowledge sharing. Trora's focus on agriculture and rural development reflects his commitment to ensuring that even the most remote parts of Burkina Faso benefit from the country's progress. Number six, water and sanitation projects. Water is life, and in Burkina Faso, access to clean drinking water and proper sanitation has been a long-standing challenge. Understanding the critical importance of these basic needs, President Traoré has made water and sanitation a top priority for his government. His administration has launched the Water for All program, which aims to provide clean drinking water to every Burkina citizen by 2030. The program includes plans to build new water wells and boreholes, rehabilitate existing water infrastructure, and improve the management of water resources. In addition to improving water access, Trora's government has initiated several sanitation projects. These include the construction of public toilets and latrines, hygiene and sanitation education programs, and the improvement of waste management services. These initiatives are vital for reducing the spread of waterborne diseases such as cholera, typhoid, and diarrhea major causes of child mortality in the country. By focusing on water and sanitation, Trora is not only addressing immediate health concerns, but also laying the groundwork for a healthier and more resilient Burkina Faso. Number five, renewable energy projects. In a country blessed with abundant sunlight, renewable energy presents a significant opportunity for sustainable development. Under President Trora's leadership, Burkina Faso is making strides in diversifying its energy sources and expanding electricity access. The Renewable Energy Project aims to increase the share of renewable energy in the country's energy mix to 30% by 2030. This project is being financed by the government of Burkina Faso, along with several international donors, including the World Bank, the African Development Bank, and the European Union. Since taking office, Traoré has intensified efforts to promote solar energy, given the country's ample sunlight. Large-scale solar power plants, such as the Zuli Solar Power Plant, with a capacity of 33 megawatts, have already been successfully constructed. Burkina Faso is also exploring biomass and biovis projects that use agricultural waste for energy production. These initiatives are expected to reduce the country's dependence on fossil fuels, mitigate the effects of climate change, and foster sustainable economic growth. Trora's focus on renewable energy is a forward-thinking approach that aims to harness the country's natural resources for long-term benefits. Number 4. Samandani Dam Project One of the most significant infrastructure projects in Burkina Faso is the Samandani Dam Project. This massive undertaking began in 2012 and is expected to be completed in 2024. The dam is being built on the Muhoun River and will have a capacity of over 1 billion cubic meters of water. When President Traoré took office in September 2022, the Semindini Dam was about 70% complete. Recognizing the importance of this project for the country's future, Traoré has made its completion a priority. 
Once finished, the Samandini Dam will provide irrigation for over 100,000 hectares of land, significantly boosting agricultural production and improving food security. The dam is also expected to generate electricity, reducing Burkina Faso's reliance on imported energy and providing a reliable source of water. Moreover, the project will create job opportunities, contributing to the country's economic growth. Trora's commitment to completing the Samandini Dam reflects his understanding of the critical role that infrastructure plays in national development. Number 3. Entrepreneurship Programs President Traore has recognized the potential of entrepreneurship in driving economic growth and job creation. To this end, he has announced several programs to support multiple forms of entrepreneurship across the country. The Startup Burkina Faso program is one such initiative, providing funding and support to startups. So far, this program has helped to launch over 100 startups, fostering innovation and economic dynamism. Another key initiative is the Young Entrepreneurship Program, which provides training and support to young people interested in starting their own businesses. This program has already helped to start over 1,000 businesses, creating job opportunities and stimulating the economy. The program also aims to stimulate the creation of community businesses specializing in the production, processing, and marketing of local products in sectors like agriculture, mining, and industry. In addition to these programs, the government has launched an agricultural mechanization and intensification project that aims to create 1 million direct jobs within two years. There is also a plan to establish a central purchasing office for local produce, ensuring that the benefits of these initiatives are shared widely across the country. Trora's focus on entrepreneurship demonstrates his commitment to empowering the people of Burkina Faso to take charge of their economic future. Number 2. Construction of the Ouagadougou Airport One of the most ambitious projects under President Trora's administration is the construction of the new Ouagadougou Airport. This project is expected to cost over £420 million and is scheduled to be completed in 2024. The government has secured loans totaling $61.8 million from the West African Development Bank and the ECOWAS Bank for investment and development for this project. The construction of the airport is a major milestone for Burkina Faso as it will significantly improve the country's connectivity with the rest of the world. The new airport is expected to have a significant impact on the economy by facilitating the movement of people and goods into and out of the country. It is also expected to attract new businesses and investment, creating job opportunities for thousands of people. Most importantly, the construction of the airport is set to generate over 5,000 jobs. Although the project faced a temporary setback due to a building collapse at the construction site in December 2022, Traore announced its resumption, reaffirming his commitment to seeing it through to completion. Once completed, the new Ouagadougou Airport will be a symbol of Burkina Faso's aspirations for growth and modernization. Number 1. Modernization of Roads Across the Country At the top of President Torres' list of priorities is the modernization of Burkina Faso's road network. As one of the poorest countries on the continent, Burkina Faso has long struggled with an inadequate road infrastructure. However, Trora is determined to change this by investing heavily in road construction and rehabilitation projects. These efforts aim to improve the quality and connectivity of the country's road network, making transportation safer and more efficient. One of the major road infrastructure projects currently underway is the Ouagadougou-Tema Highway. This 233-kilometer highway will connect the capital city of Ouagadougou to the Tema region in the northern part of the country. In addition to this, there are several other road projects in progress, including the Ouagadougou Paya Highway and the Ouagadougou Ziniara Highway. The government is also planning to construct new roads and rehabilitate existing ones in rural areas, which will further enhance connectivity and facilitate regional trade. Cross-border roads are also a priority under Torres' administration. These roads play a crucial role in facilitating trade with neighboring countries contributing to regional integration and economic growth. The improvement of road infrastructure has brought joy to the inhabitants of various regions, as it has made their daily lives safer and easier. By prioritizing road modernization, Trora is not only addressing immediate transportation needs, but also laying the foundation for long-term economic development. President Ibrahim Traore has been in office for less than a year, but his impact on Burkina Faso is already evident. 
from modernizing the country's roads and constructing a new airport to supporting entrepreneurship and completing major infrastructure projects like the Samandini Dam. Trora's vision for Burkina Faso is one of progress and prosperity. Thanks for watching.